in previous topic we learned if a body is acted upon by a force it will have translational motion if it is free to move and if body is fixed it will have a rotational motion if it is fixed at a pivoted point but in certain circumstances if body is acted upon by number of forces such that resultant of all forces is equal to zero in case if body is free to move and in case if body is pivoted to a fixed point and it is acted upon number of forces then the algebraic sum of moment of force means the sum of clockwise moment and anti clockwise moment is zero then we say the body is in equilibrium there are two kinds of equilibrium number one is static equilibrium if a number of forces acting on a body and body remains in a state of rest and does not change from rest to motion we say it is in static equilibrium like we can take one example like beam balance beam balance if you see both the bands if they are having equal weight and the line of force means the their weight are acting vertically downward and means downward force is acting and the line of force from pivoted point is equal means the turning effect of both the pans is equal but one turning effect of one pan is clockwise and turning effect of one pan will be anti clockwise and if we add both the moment of forces anti clockwise and clockwise will find the sum is zero means this state is the pan is in static equilibrium because it is not turning because of the equal moment of force but one in anti clockwise and one in clockwise direction we can understand by an illustration suppose see here in this example two men they are pushing a cart suppose one man is pushing with a force under newton and another man is also applying force of 100 newton but they are pushing the cart in opposite to each other so resultant of these two forces will be 100 newton minus 100 newton will be 0 newton means the resultant is zero the cart is not moving and the force are being acted from the opposite sides here you see the force is applied by the two sides but cart is not moving under the influence of these forces then we say the cart is in a state of static equilibrium second kind of equilibrium is dynamic equilibrium in if under the influence of number of forces if body is in the state of constant motion it is not changing its position means not from motion to rest but then we say it is in the state of dynamic equilibrium for an illustration let us see the board suppose you see in this example the boat is rowed by a number of people means under the influence of force this boat is in constant motion and it is not changing its position from from motion to rest but it is under the influence of these forces so we say the the boat is in dynamic equilibrium conditions for equilibrium conditions for equilibrium resultant of all the forces should be equal to zero and algebraic sum of all the moment of force should be equal to zero means sum of anti clockwise moment and sum of clockwise moment will always be equal to zero principle of moments
See, in this example of a seesaw, suppose two children are sitting on the seesaw, and suppose the weight of one child is W1, and its distance from the pivoted point is L1, and second child is W2 in weight, and its distance from pivoted point is L2. So, the turning about this point means this will go downward means clockwise and this will anti-clockwise. Here you see anti-clockwise moment is W1, L1. Clockwise moment W2, L2. But if a body is in the state of equilibrium, the sum of anti-clockwise and clockwise moment is always zero. Suppose this saw is in a state of equilibrium, so the sum of anti-clockwise and clockwise moment will be zero means W1 L1 plus W2 L2, but clockwise moment we take negative, so here we'll take negative W2 L2 is equal to zero means W1 L1 is equal to W2 L2. Conclusion is that in case of equilibrium of a body, the anti-clockwise moment will always be equal to clockwise moment.